Good morning, Asia. Welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap. Friends at Privateer FX. Well, so why don't we just kind of recap last week, talk a little about what's coming up. The, uh, the British pound was all over the place last week on positive Brexit negotiations with the EU, and there were some sources comments there. Um, it looks like they are getting closer, and, uh, you know, the markets seem a bit skeptical, but things are, are definitely moving <clears throat> in the right direction for some sort of uh, agreement from both sides of the, both sides of the pond. So, let me go to the weekly and just see where things closed. Um, Here's the British pound, decent range actually, and it was up and down like a whore's drawers. 130.28 was a high, 127.85 was a low, we closed on change. So a lot of indecision here, which is uh, understandable given the uh, the Brexit situation. Um, dollar index, it did rally a bit on uh, on Friday and on the week it had a, it had a, uh, marginal up week. We had some good average, high average hourly earnings data out of the U.S. on Friday, which lent a bid to the dollar. Um, if we take a look at the Australian dollar, we'll just kind of go right down through this. You can see Australian dollar, another bad week. So that's two bad back-to-back -back weeks closed right pretty much on the lows of the week. Um, we think that there's kind of like playing Aussie, Euro, Cable, Kiwi, from the long side here in early Asia. Um, Trump did not announce any tariffs over the weekend. Um, there's been real, really no drama aside from the Swedish elections. It seems to be uh, that's going to drag on for a bit. But it, it is funny because the um, go back to the daily and look at Hirostaki um, here on the open. Should be updating by now. You know, it really hasn't moved much at all. So I think that uh, this little correction that started a week or so ago, I think we'd, I think it could run its course maybe down to the 100-day uh, or to the three-quarter FIBO. Um, you know, the, the, the weakest uh, Canada and Mexico weekend last week. Uh, pop back over to the weekly. Uh, here's the dollar CAD weekly. That was kind of a perfect storm on Friday where we had some weaker Canadian data. Uh, and stronger U.S., but it closed in the upper two-thirds of the range. Um, we got our sights set here. We, so we do think that there's more commodity weak, currency weakness. I just wouldn't be playing that side here on the uh, Asian Open. Um, if we go over to dollar max, we're back up at 1930. It did get as high as 1967. There was a big FIBO up here that we highlighted uh, I think I did that on the daily chart earlier in the week. Um, here's this half Fibo at 1969. Called the top pretty well. Caught the top pretty well. So back below the 100 moving average, um, you know. But again, the weekly weekly was a green bar after a couple previous weeks green bar, but there was a decent reaction from there. And that's just it's just NAFTA. A lot of a lot of the week was was pretty much, um, it was either NAFTA headlines, it was Brexit headlines. The liquidity is really really poor, and uh, we got stung a few times on that. Take a look at our marijuana stocks, the high flyers. Um, this is one that we shorted the other day on the that rally up to I think it got up to ninety. Something. Let me uh, let me pull it up. Tilray. So it's a, a Nasdaq. It's listed in the Nasdaq. Here's a daily. We did get up to um, almost to 100, which was a lot of people's price target for year end. That came back down, and then uh, we open. We closed here at 80 on Thursday, and we opened down here uh, 75-ish, and uh, settled here around 78. So. Pretty parabolic chart. We think there's some more backing and filling. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes back to, you know, maybe even fill this gap down 44 to 50, somewhere in this zone. Um, 
you know, again, these things have gone. The rate of change on them is uh, is definitely parabolic. Kronos, uh, this thing's messy. I mean, just look at these daily charts. I mean, it's just gap open higher, gap open lower. Here's Canopy Growth, who's one of our favorites in this space, hanging in there. Again, we expect some corrections in these. Um, let's see what this uh, let's see what this headline is. I just saw this. Marijuana stocks haven't felt much love in the past from Wall Street. Scott's Mir Miracle Grow and Scott's Prime Business selling lawn and garden products. So designation as a marijuana stock comes with an asterisk. It's funny. They're going to be big suppliers to all of these, um, to all of the uh, growing facilities, the cultivation facilities, the growing facilities. So... Maybe that's when you put put the bottom drawer and take a look at it in five or ten years. Uh, crypto had quite a week. Uh, I believe I read Ethereum was down. It's under 200 bucks, which we haven't been down here in a while. Let's take a look at the weekly. You know, we haven't been down here since June 2000. 17 levels we're back down there's your parabolic rise collapse so this stock is down from the highs like you know 70 80 90 percent now um looks horrible uh i believe it was down 33 percent last week bitcoin was down i was just looking at this bitcoin was down about 10 to 15 percent so it looks like the you know that bubble is continuing to deflate and you know a lot of people are talking about how they're the day traders are getting out of crypto and into marijuana stocks which is starting to worry me this is why we own some puts on tilray and a couple of the other uh us listed that they actually have some decent liquidity uh we have a <coughs> excuse me we have a uh, some holiday. What do we have? We've got a Jewish holiday coming up here on uh, Monday. I expect North America to be somewhat quiet. Um, keep an eye on the uh, the Swedish election news that is coming out. Uh, right now, it's uh, too close to call. And uh, keep it. What else are we looking at? Uh, we got Japanese GDP. I believe it's the second read today, but not much data. Um, we're kind of getting ready for the end of next week, which, or the end of, sorry, the end of this week, where you have a couple, uh, central bank meetings. So good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.